playing football my whole life. Uh, when I was five years old, I uh, played flag football. A lot of fond memories of flag football because I really just wanted to hit people. So uh, it was fun though, running around and running around everybody. I started really liking football probably when I was in elementary school. I was naturally, I guess, bigger than everybody else. I had to run, run around the field because it was weight class. I had to run around the field with a trash bag over my body and uh, wear like skeleton pads or like shells because I couldn't wear actual pads to weigh in because I was too heavy. First love was actually running the football because um, I was just fast, you know, I was a fast kid. My love actually started when, you know, before every game, my dad was like, all right, Milt, you get three touchdowns this game, uh, we get you a video game. And obviously I love video games, so I'm like, of course, yeah, I'll, I'll get three touchdowns. Yeah, by the end of the season, I was draining him dry because I was getting three touchdowns every single game, running around and, uh, just scoring and I just loved it so much. And um, I love defense too, defense was great. I love, I love hitting people, I love tackling, especially at a young age, you know, I feel like it starts at a young age like when, you, when you know you really like football, just because, you know, there's some kids that, you know, get hit and cry and there's other kids that get hit and like, oh, that was kind of fun, you know, and especially when you do the hitting. Yeah, my dad played in the NFL for about six years. He was a first round draft pick in the 99 NFL draft. Growing up as a kid, having a dad in the NFL, I mean, it's special, I mean, you know, not really anybody has a dad that, you know, let alone be a professional athlete uh, playing the NFL. Big deal for me. I really looked up to him, for sure. Him playing in the NFL made me just want to work harder and become the athlete that, you know, maybe I could be like he once was, you know? As, as a young kid, you know, my dad really wasn't, you know, the type of dad to like, you, you gotta play football, you have to play football, you know, and like really force his son to like go out and do all these drills and stuff. No, he's like, you know what, do whatever you want to do, do whatever makes you happy. So I really um, admired that about him, that he, he didn't, you know, force this upon me or anything. This is completely my goal. I think that makes it even more special, to be honest. The number one career ending thing for an athlete is injuries. And, you know, obviously some athletes just don't have it. Some athletes aren't athletic enough, some athletes aren't big enough, strong enough, whatever. That necessarily wasn't my case. It was just more of trying to stay healthy. I battle injuries my whole career basically, starting in sixth grade. I mean, sixth grade on, I've been hurt every single year. I remember um, getting a handoff, grass was, you know, hard as concrete. I remember running and I tried to make a move and I slipped because the grass, you know, was so hard and cold, it was slippery. It fell right on my heel, cracked that bone. For eighth grade, I fell onto his face mask and my arm kind of bent and I broke the two bones in my arm. That sucked. And then high school comes around, super excited to start the season. I'm like, all right, this is a fresh start, you know, arms all healed up, ready to go. Then in fall camp, uh, in ninth grade, I, I broke my back and it was a non-contact injury. I still don't really remember a specific time where I broke it. It was probably just a, you know, a period of a couple of weeks where I put a lot of strain on it, I guess. Broke or fractured my L4, L5 vertebrae. So the two last vertebrae on your back. So yeah, that uh, put me out a whole entire year. Healed up, uh, did physical therapy. So going into my sophomore year at fall camp, I refractured my back. I still wanted to be a part of the football team, so obviously I was still on the team and stuff, but you know, I was the camera boy. I was, you know, filming games. I'd rather be out on the field playing, obviously. My body and I guess my mind took a, took a toll. Going into junior year, all healed up with the back. I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this. Running stopped really hard, um, and then I felt a like really sharp like pain, and I felt just like a crack in my in my foot, and I'm like, God, I knew, I knew something was up. I didn't want to accept it, but I knew that the season <laughs> the season was probably going to be over again before it even started. So I got surgery on my foot, going junior year, going into my senior year, rehabbed it all year. It was pretty painful, but um, you know it is what it is. It's just surgery. I was ready to go next season. I was excited. Everything's feeling good finally. It was the first year I actually felt like, okay, like I feel pretty good. Then, you know, the season comes, I'm super excited. I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to go. The very first play of the game, I shoot up the line, you know, I snap the ball. I was in the backfield in an instant. I remember grabbing that running back and just lifting him up and throwing him on the ground. I'm like, let's go, like freaking out. Cause I'm like, let's go. Like it's, you know, my first time, like really playing. I feel healthy. I feel good. I'm ready to go. And I hear some of the off offense line, I'm like, God damn, like, where did he come from? <laughs> I was, I was so hyped. The very last play before the half, he did the same thing to quarterback. And I was chasing him down. I chased him down. I, I lunged at him and I felt a like it was like a I heard and I felt like it was if it was sounded like like Vroom? like I felt that like it was like a balloon. Like if you scrape your finger along a balloon, that's what it sounded like in my shoulder when I heard. I was like, 
what is that? Like, I remember I couldn't lift my arm up. I'm like, oh my God, like what now? So I, I just assumed that my season was over there and I was just done. I, I was done with football, I guess, because you know, senior year, if you don't play all high school and you don't play all senior year, you're not gonna play in college, obviously. No one's gonna look at you. Um, so I was like, no, like I have to play, like I have to. So instead of like getting surgery or anything, uh, my, I went to my trainer, my school trainer and stuff, or my, my strength coach at school, um, showing me these, these shoulder exercises to get the shoulder strong, all the muscles around the shoulder. He's like, listen, pain's pain, you know? You're gonna have pain, but you, the, the thing to prevent this shoulder, shoulder from getting worse is uh, strengthening it, you know? All you gotta do is strengthen it. And I, that still sticks with me to this day. Like, all you gotta do is strengthen it and you'll be okay. Like, so I was, I was working my ass off that whole week just strengthening it and stuff. Played the next game and then I, I played all the whole season and then you know I, I was I was killing it that season going in my last game EA versus Ad for a day you know I, I got a couple tackles for loss in the first in the first half too the last drive I had that half the next play uh, there was a down block the quarterback comes he's coming this way he's going he's going the opposite direction of me and you know typical bootleg and that's my bread and butter right there I chase down whoever is running a bootleg so I'm about to chase him down last second I didn't see a receiver come for the reverse play flip the ball to the receiver and I'm like in my mind I'm like oh shit like I gotta get this play I gotta get this ball and he was more than an arm's length away from me but I reached out with my arm try to reach as far as I can to try to grab him granted this this running this wide receiver is coming full speed in this direction completely takes my arm with him arm rips out of its socket I'm laying on the floor that was the worst pain I ever felt in my life that felt like I heard the pop it was like the biggest pop I've I heard felt like I got shot in the arm I was lying there, I'm like, holy shit. Are you kidding me? Again with this? Lying on the ground. I get up, my arm's like down to my, like lower than my kneecap. I was like, this this is done, like I'm done for. Going to the hospital with my parents, they, I mean, the doctors were, they were injecting me with as much morphine as they possibly could. And I was like, this isn't doing anything. I, I feel everything, like it was, it was that bad. I remember sitting there with my mom, my dad, like, just like crying because I'm like, this is it. Like, no college is gonna wanna recruit me after that. I thought it was game over for me. Uh, despite all of that, I think I had about eight offers. I mean, I only played nine games on my senior year of high school. So one of my offers was uh, University of Montana and that was an interesting one because, you know, I never really heard of Montana. I know it's a state, but it was interesting. It was interesting for sure. You know, I checked out the, the place and I was like, wow, this is, this is beautiful. I mean, I never really seen pictures of Montana. And the stadium, the stadium was amazing. I mean, the stadium was the biggest, yeah, it's the biggest FCS stadium, D1AA stadium. The facilities were insane. The facilities were, I mean, top notch, top notch facilities. And it was sort of like godsend. And, you know, the coaches, everyone was excited to get me out there because they knew, they knew what I got. I played well the first, you know, summer camp, played well the first, uh, the first couple of weeks. And then a drill came by and shoulder popped out again. I, you know, here we go again. With that injury, I had to actually, um, get surgery on the shoulder and then my my coach was like listen you you have a torn labor on the other shoulder you might as well get that one fixed too uh next season came uh came around and um i was like one of only a couple of redshirt freshmen that played that year had a really good season started a couple games and then second to last game came came by and uh uh tore my tore my knee <laughs> felt a pop in my knee and i'm like oh my god here we go again <laughs> um so i tore my knee that tore my acl you know, complete ACL tear that, that game. So really, you know, although I, I didn't play much my football career, I was like, you know, after every injury, I'm like, I'm coming back and I'm, I'm gonna come back stronger than I did, which I did initially before my injuries. And I really thought that football was the only route for me. I didn't really think anything else of myself other than football. I mean, that's all I knew, you know, in the gym, lifting heavy weights, um, get on the football field, you know, running around, chasing everybody, asking everybody. Um, at 240, ran a 4-4 barefoot in the summertime after a leg day. Um, with cleats on, I could have probably ran in the four threes. I mean, I, you know, I, I was something, I knew I was something else. And, um, you know, it's, it really sucked for me that I couldn't reach my full potential. You know, I got, a, I got a whole other life to live outside of football. You know, I can't just stick in the past and let this stuff fester in my brain about how I, what I could have done if I made it and stuff, or, you know, what I could have done if I had a healthy season. You know, life goes on. So I decided to transfer to uh, Drexel. And after, after my you know, decision to, to transfer from Montana after not playing anymore, because you know, my body, I just couldn't take it anymore with my body and stuff. And I, I realized you know, 
I'd rather be healthy than to live, you know, and not be able to do the things I want to do for the rest of my life if I was hurt. Right before I transferred, um, probably the best thing that happened to me in Montana was, was getting a girl, the best girl in the world. She really inspired me to, you know, chase other goals in my life. She knew I was smart, and I, I never really had it in my head that I was a smart guy in the books, you know, in, in the grades and stuff. My grades weren't stellar in Montana, and, you know, I was like, what am I going to do and stuff. And she knew that I was, I was smart and more than capable of achieving things that were beyond football. She really was my light in, in finding other joys in my life. I decided to transfer, come back home, and really focus on my grades and stuff. Now I'm living happy. I, you know, I have a 3.9 GPA, which, which is something I, I never would have thought I would have, I would have ever gotten. But she really, you know, inspired me to work hard and know that there's other things in life. And obviously, my parents were big motivators too. That they knew I was smart and they knew I was capable of doing stuff outside of football. Um, you know, before before all this, you know, I really thought football was the only route for me, and I really thought that I didn't know what else to do other than football. You know, and I guess I didn't necessarily apply myself to other things other than football. So I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. But with with my girlfriend and with my family, they really helped me to realize that there are other paths in life that are far greater than football and that can lead me to do far greater things. Do I still think about football? Yeah, every day I still think about it, but that's okay. I'm, I'm at peace with, with my decision and I'm at peace with knowing that I couldn't play because, you know, it, was, it wasn't in my control, you know? If, it was, if getting hurt was in my control, then, you know, obviously I, I wouldn't be here right now, you know? I want to do as best I can in school, as I possibly can, you know, because, you know, I'll focus that drive I have with football and, you know, I've assessed that I can focus this drive towards school and I'm going to do the best I can in school and reunite with my girlfriend who's in Denver, live a life in the mountains. <laughs> I'm a mountain man. <laughs>